So now we have Linux Mint. Now we're not 100% done here because it's not actually installed. Right now we're running off the USB. Now you see that disk at the top left of my screen? Uh, that would be the actual installation. So if you decide to actually go through with this operating system, then you will select that. But this is the time if you want to just try it out. If you don't like it, start it over, unplug the drive, and you go right back to Windows. But that's not what we're going to do here because we've already committed. Once you decide to go on through with the installation, it's pretty straightforward. You just follow the prompts, select your language, you know, you're where you're located, your time zone, things like that. And it really is easy at this point. Now, I didn't mention this at first, but you will have the option to either dual boot your computer or do a clean install, which means wiping everything and replacing it purely with Linux. For some people out there, it makes sense to have a dual boot operating system, uh, but just for the lack of headaches, I'm just going to do a clean install. And you'll know you've done it right when it reboots into Linux rather than Windows. And we've done it. This laptop is now running Linux Mint, full with a whole bunch of goodies that come right out of the box. Hopefully you found this helpful, especially if you got an old computer around collecting dust, so it don't just end up as e-waste. Tell me what you guys think.